Welcome to the OpFund Web Portal training video on public housing waiting list submissions. PHAs must report the total number of families on the waiting list for admission to public housing on a yearly basis. While the term waiting list can refer to a single waiting list, there are often multiple sublists based on unit size and type. Depending on the size of the PHA, this waiting list may consist of a community-wide or agency-wide waiting list, one or more site-based waiting lists, or some combination of these two. Families that are on both an agency-wide and one or more site-based waiting list can only be reported once in the PHA's waiting list submission. Do not report the same family on each waiting list that the family joined. Before we begin, let's discuss user role assignments. The OpFone web portal designates three types of user roles, OPD, OPE, and OPI. The OPD user role is intended for a PHA's executive director only. This user can create, edit, and submit the forms and electronically sign them. The OPE user can create and edit forms, but they can't sign or submit the forms. The OPI user can only read submitted forms. They can't create, edit, sign, or submit forms. Follow up with your PHA's WASP coordinator to ensure that they only assign one role per user. In cases where a user has more than one role assigned, the system will automatically default to the access rights of the lower of the two roles. Creating a waiting list submission. To create a public housing waiting list submission, go to PHA Reports and Submissions in the left navigation menu. Open the PHA Submissions drop-down menu. Select Public Housing Waiting List from the drop-down menu. Select the calendar year for the reporting period of the PHA submission. Please note that the waiting list count is a point-in-time count as of December 31st of the calendar year. Select your PHA code and PHA name. Click the Create button. The following steps will allow your PHA to create an agency-wide, site-based, or both waiting list submission. Creating an agency-wide waiting list only. Complete the following steps if your PHA maintains an agency-wide waiting list only. Select Yes for Public Housing Agency-Wide Waiting List if the PHA keeps a waiting list that covers the entire PHA. For the Public Housing Agency-Wide Waiting List Open field, select Yes if the agency-wide waiting list is open. Select No if the waiting list is closed. Enter the number of families on the agency-wide waiting list in the Public Housing Agency-Wide Waiting List Count field. Select No if the PHA does not keep site-based waiting lists in the Public Housing Site-Based Waiting List field. Select Yes if the PHA keeps site-based waiting lists and complete the steps in the agency-wide and site-based waiting list portions of this video. Click the Create button. Site-based waiting list only. Complete the following steps if your PHA maintains site-based waiting list only. Select No for Public Housing Agency-Wide Waiting List. Select Yes for Public Housing Site-Based Waiting List. Click the Create button. Add site-based waiting list. If the PHA selected Yes for Public Housing Site-Based Waiting List, then the PHA must report waiting list counts for each site containing public housing developments or units. Click the Add Site-Based Waiting List button. Select the Development AMP code. Select Yes for the Site-Based Waiting List Open field if the site's waiting list is open. Select No if the waiting list is closed. Enter the number of families on the site-based waiting list in the site-based waiting list list count field. Be sure that you do not include families counted on another site's waiting list or in the agency-wide waiting list. Click the Create and Close button to create the entry. Repeat these steps to add waiting lists for additional sites. Edit a site-based waiting list entry. PHAs may update site-based waiting list entries if an entry was made in error. Click the pencil icon for a site-based waiting list entry. Edit the site-based waiting list open and or the site-based waiting list count fields if necessary. Click the update and close button to save your changes. You may also delete the entry by selecting the delete button. Click the delete button and follow the steps shown in the delete a site-based waiting list entry portion of this video. Delete a site-based waiting list entry. 
PHAs may delete a site-based waiting list entry if the entry was made in error. Please note that PHAs that keep a site-based waiting list must create at least one site-based waiting list entry. Click the trash can icon to delete the site-based entry. Click the OK button in the pop-up window. Click OK again to confirm your selection. Agency-wide and site-based waiting list. Complete the following steps if your PHA maintains both agency-wide waiting list and site-based waiting list. Select Yes if the PHA keeps a waiting list that covers the entire PHA in the Public Housing Agency-wide waiting list field. For the Public Housing Agency-wide waiting list open field, select Yes if the agency-wide waiting list is open. Select No if the waiting list is closed. Enter the number of families on the agency-wide waiting list in the Public Housing Agency-wide waiting list count field. Select Yes for the Public Housing Site-based waiting list field. Click the Create button and add site-based waiting list entries. Update the waiting list submission. PHAs may update their waiting list submission to revise agency-wide waiting list fields or change whether the PHA maintains site-based waiting list before submitting to HUD. Make any updates and click the Apply Changes button to save any updates. Refresh Executive Director Information. Only the authorized representative may submit the waiting list information to HUD. The contact information for the authorized representative is pre-populated with the executive director's contact information contained in IMS PIC. Update IMS PIC to correct this contact information if necessary. It takes one business day for changes made in IMS PIC to update within the portal. Click the Refresh ED Info button to update the form with the latest executive director's contact information contained in IMS PIC. Sign and submit the waiting list submission. Once the waiting list submission is complete, only the executive director may electronically sign and submit the form. Click the Sign and Submit button. Your executive director must type their name in the Signature Text field. Click the Sign Document button. By clicking OK, your executive director agrees to the certifications and electronically signing the submission. Click the OK button to close the confirmation window. Delete the waiting list submission. PHAs may delete the entire waiting list submission before submitting to HUD. Click the Delete button. Click the OK button to confirm your selection. Please note that PHAs are still required to submit waiting list information to HUD on a yearly basis. Thank you for watching this OpFund Web Portal training video on public housing waiting list submissions. If you have questions about public housing waiting list or HUD reporting requirements, please contact your local field office. If you have questions or technical issues regarding your access to the OpFund web portal, contact React Tech by phone at 1-888-245-4860 and choose option number four or by email at react underscore tech at hud.gov.